Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost of Richard today. We're going to be putting this Delta Intuition. Oh, they even put a two in it. Intuition. Um, faucet here from Delta. Very, very nice product. Checked it out. So, first thing you want to do is remove your old one. If you look up here, you're going to need an adjustable wrench or you could actually find a wrench that would fit. Um, and usually there's a notch in right here that you get it on and you would just loosen it. Just like that. And go to the top and we loosen it again. And it's usually on there pretty good. You shouldn't be able to remove it by hand. Because if you can, then that's probably, if it was leaking up here, that's probably why. Sorry again about the reverb, because you're definitely hearing reverb off of this and probably barely hearing me. Oh, this one's actually got some pretty good uh, thread sealant on it. Oh yeah, there we go. And now I have a wet package. There we go. So, what comes in the box? Nice long hose, not a wet package. which we're gonna screw on, a filter. Some people remove that because they think it speeds up the water pressure. We'll see how bad the water pressure is on this one before we do that. These are some adjustable modes for the valve that's in here. So you also have some recycling you can overread if you want to. This is just gonna go over and uh, show you the different positions and how to hook everything up. I'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory and this is just going to light the fire later. So first thing you want to do is you can see this one is just hand tight and it's got the gasket. Um, it doesn't really have, I mean, I guess you could try and unscrew this. I'm going to just try and screw this in and with the little bit that's on here, I'm going to just try and reuse it. Oh. And let's see if I can get it. Being very careful when you line it up not to cross thread it because if you cross thread it, this is just plastic and you'll be in trouble, literally in trouble. So I'm just going to screw this in like so. Perfect. Now, that's the max it wants to go. Now it's turning pretty free like so. I'm going to try and do it by hand and we're going to see if that's tight enough. If not, I'm going to grab a pair of my channel locks. I'm going to grab it right here and give it a nice turn and lock it in. You want to be careful with how hard you grab onto this with a pair of pliers because you don't also, one, want to strip the plastic by over tightening. Two, you don't want to crack this piece because when you tighten it, you over tighten it or you squeeze it too hard with the jaws. So once we've done that, you have this piece right here. Undo this end. And then undo this end. Uh, they probably do this to keep the rubber in. That way you don't misplace your rubber. Again, hand tightened, and again, it's just going to sit on that rubber gasket. Again, double check, make sure your rubber gasket's still in there. We're going to do this, put it on, and again, go nice and tight. But if you go and start wrenching on this, you could crack this, and then, well, you go to Home Depot, I guess, and you get a new one. So, Let's see if I'm going to get wet today. Oh yeah, that's in there good. Just like that. Okay. Well there, that's good. That's just the center piece. This is just dripping out. 
So all the way back is just the ring, no centerpiece. Down is both. You can see the water pressure cut down. And then right there is just the inside. So if you're gonna pull this off like I am to wash my dog, I can just do that. And then if I want this part to turn off, I can just do that and now this part is turned off. This is for more adjustment, so let's move this all the way here. This is so I can press this in and I think this is for changing this. Maybe it doesn't let me do it when it's on. There. That doesn't seem very strong. Oh, I see now. So watch this, click it, turns off, switch mode, click it again. So switch mode, click right here. So now you've got the massager in the center and you have that. Click it again so it's off, switch. This is just spraying, no massage. And then if you go all the way to the far side, it's just the massage depending on what you're going for with this thing. Personally, I like the best of both worlds. A little bit of a massage while it's spraying. Hit it here. Doesn't really turn it off, but you can hit it then. That's firing on all cylinders. And there we go. Now, the water pressure here isn't the best, but still, you can see that massager is ending way before it hits you. So I think if you have all of these on, you're probably going to feel, you're not going to feel that massager too much. You can see it's dipping down right here. So if you want to and you want to mess with it, you can uh, pull out that uh, filter in the center and you might get a little bit higher water pressure. That'll be completely up to you. But that's how easy it is to install the shower head and it's doing what it should. So the old one, I needed a wrench to remove, but the new one, I didn't need anything. I just hand tighten this, hand tighten this, and hand tighten the bottom here. So don't go wrenching on this like I said, because otherwise you'll crack this plastic piece, or this plastic piece, or this plastic piece. So just get in there with your, uh, your monkey grip, not a monkey wrench, and go ahead and get her done. Thanks again for watching. Chris, like and help you out and subscribe for more.